Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. A little while ago I did a skincare empties video and I just kind of went through all of the skincare products that I had used up recently and shared my thoughts on them with you and I'm going to do the same thing today but with the makeup products that I've used up recently. So if you're interested in seeing what those things are then just keep on watching. First up is a foundation from Face Atelier. This is their ultra foundation. I I had used this years ago and really loved it and then I got sent another one and I like it still not quite as much as I used to but it's a really good foundation if you're looking for something full coverage it's pretty lightweight and uh, long lasting so I, uh, I definitely enjoyed using this their color range is also really extensive so it's easy to find a shade that will match you Next up, I've got the Flash Photo Powder from the Estee Edit. I loved this stuff and I want to repurchase it because it was really great. I usually prefer a loose setting powder and this one's pressed, but I found that this one did a really great job at keeping my makeup in place all day and it also works with flash photography. So it's definitely a really cool product and uh, yeah, I'm going to be picking up another one of these soon. I've also recently used up one of the Laura Mercier... Um, invisible loose setting powders and this is my all-time favorite setting powder so I'm definitely going to want to pick up another one of these but uh, yeah it just works really well to kind of set your foundation in place all day and it's really lightweight. Next up I've got the Laura Mercier foundation primer. This is the hydrating primer and this is my go-to in the winter. It is the only thing that sits underneath my foundation that makes it last longer and helps combat my flaky skin. So this one is a must-have for me. I actually got another one for Christmas this year so I don't have to worry about um, replacing it quite yet but this is something that I always have in my makeup collection. Another base product that I love having in my collection is the Clinique City Block SPF 25. This is a really great base. It works as a primer or you can just use it kind of as an SPF in conjunction with another primer which is what I do in the winter time but SPF is so important and I really like this one because it's not greasy and it sits underneath makeup really well. Next up is my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the first concealer that I ever found that I really loved and I still love it but there are ones that I kind of tend to prefer that just offer a bit more coverage now but this one's a really great concealer. Another concealer empty is my Urban Decay Naked Skin Complete Coverage Concealer. Again this is one of my favorite concealers and I'll probably end up repurchasing it but right now I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I think I like it even a bit more but again this is a really great option. Next is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. This is a brow gel and it's my favorite one that I've ever used. I've talked about it on the blog so much and I've probably gone through about four or five of these now so I always have one or two in my collection as backups so I'm, I don't need to repurchase right now but this is definitely one that I would recommend picking up. Next up I've got a foundation. This is from Maybelline and this is their Superstay Better Skin Foundation. And normally I don't love drugstore foundations but this one was really good. I thought that it had really good coverage and I was able to find a shade that wasn't too dark. Sometimes I find that even the lightest shade is a bit too dark for me. So I was really impressed with the shade range of this foundation and I just really liked how lightweight it was and how good the coverage was. So um, yeah, I would definitely buy this again. I've got some more foundations to kind of use up first, but I think this is a really great affordable option. Next up, I've got the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This one was really popular in the beauty world about a year, year and a half ago maybe. And I really like it. I initially picked it up for the packaging. I just really like this kind of light pink blush color. And I was actually blown away. I normally don't like drugstore mascaras very much, but um, this is the one that kind of changed my mind about drugstore mascaras and made me try more in the past year or so. Um, it gives really great volume to my lashes, which is important. And I find that this one doesn't smudge or flake throughout the day, which is really great. Next up, I've got one of my favorite ever beauty products. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I love this stuff. This is my ultimate favorite foundation. I actually have a backup that I'm using right now that's almost gone and I plan to repurchase another one when that one runs out. This stuff is amazing. It just has such great coverage. It's a little bit heavy but not too bad. I don't think it, I, I don't really notice it on my skin that much and yeah just a beautiful finish amazing coverage i can't recommend it enough next up is a nail polish from essie this is the shade devil's advocate this is one of my favorite polishes it's a really dark purple that almost looks black and i've picked up another one since just because 
I get so much wear out of it. I just really love it for something different. When I kind of want black nails that I don't quite, um, it's really dark and rich and the formula is really great. Next up, I've got a brow pencil from Rouge Bunny Rouge. This is the, I never remember, the Alchemy Long Lasting Brow Liner. I loved this. I thought that it did a really great job at kind of outlining and defining my brows and the shade match was really great. I believe that the uh, shade range is pretty good with these two. Um, so it's easy to find a match for anybody, but I definitely recommend Next these. Next up, I've got a couple of eyeliners. Uh, the first one is from Yves Saint Laurent. This is their shocking eyeliner and I love this stuff. Very black, very pigmented, and it glides on really nicely. So I would definitely pick this up again. I've got, you know, a few more liquid liners to go through for now, but this one is definitely worth a repurchase. The second liner that I have to talk about is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I have blogged about this a ton. This is my go-to ultimate favorite eyeliner pen. It is just so pigmented, so long-lasting, and incredible. I love it. I have a backup that I'm using right now, and I will definitely be repurchasing when that one runs out too. Next up from Bosha, I have the uh, Pink Peppermint Blotting Linens, and I love sticking these in my handbag. Now, normally I have dry skin, but I can get oily in my T-zone at times, so it's really nice to have these when I'm on the go just to kind of absorb excess oil on my face. It doesn't move your foundation or anything around, which is really great, so your makeup still looks good, but it's just taking away that excess oil. So um, they've got a few different uh, scents of these, so I definitely recommend checking them out if you have oil oily skin or you just kind of get oily at times because they're a really great option. And last but not least, I've got a mini of the Too Faced Hangover RX face primer and I picked this up as a 100 point perk because I was dying to try it but I didn't really need to purchase any more primers but I love this. It smells like coconut. It feels so refreshing on the face and I want to buy a full size now. I am hooked. So if you have dry skin, I definitely recommend checking this out because it's such a nice option. So that is it for my makeup empties. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm going to leave a link to my blog and all of my social media platforms in the description box below. So go ahead and check those out if you haven't already. Also, please subscribe and I will see you guys next week with another video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Thank you.